Hello everyone. Today we will be talking about Google Summer of Code. Primarily the changes that have been made from last year to the program and what they mean for you as an aspiring GSOCer. So without further delay, let's dive right in. So what is GSOC? GSOC is essentially an open source oriented internship program conducted by Google every single year during the summer break. The way it works is that multiple organizations are created by Google and these organizations all have a set of ideas or projects that the candidates are supposed to work on. Now, as an applicant, you go through these ideas and you pick the projects that you feel yourself comfortable working with and draft a proposal and send that to the mentor of that particular project. Now, we'll get into the exact details of preparing proposals and mentor coordination because it is important to you know getting accepted into the program for now let's focus on the bigger picture so there are primarily three stages to clearing gsoc but the first as we already discussed is the application process right you go through the projects you pick one that you're confident to work on and submit a proposal for it once your proposal gets accepted you start working on your project under your respective mentors now, there will be deadlines and evaluations to judge your work, just like a real work project. Now, if your work passes all the evaluations, you will have officially cleared GSOC and you will have a nice paycheck from Google itself. Now, this is all good, but a question that comes to mind is why? You know, why GSOC? And it's a valid question, you know, an, an entire summer break is a huge commitment, so uh, it should be worth it. And yeah, it is worth the effort. You know, GSOC is not just about the stipend, it's about the skills that you develop and the real world experience that you can include in your resume. You know, it's a very prestigious achievement and will surely make you stand out from the rest of the competition. Now, let's just quickly check out the official eligibility criteria and the timeline. So it's fairly simple, right? You have to be at least 18 years of age and eligible for work in your country of residence. Uh, you must be enrolled in a post-secondary academic program like an undergraduate degree or a postgraduate degree or even a PhD for that matter. And lastly, you must not have already been accepted as a GSOC candidate two times already, right? So you can only be a GSOC candidate twice. Now, as you can see, the timeline here is mostly the points that we think are the most important, right? And you can always check the fully detailed calendar at GSOC's official website. So March 10th is when the orgs and their projects get announced. So from this point to the student application period is your time to explore the various projects and find the ones that you're confident to work on. Then comes the application period for you to draft and send in your proposals, uh, following which they get reviewed and finally get accepted candidates and their projects are announced on May 17th. Following this, you have a community bonding period, which is basically you getting familiarized with your mentors, uh, your project and the workflow that you'll be going through during the coding period. Uh, then the coding period begins right from June 7th, lasting around two and a half months till August 16th, after which you submit your code for the final evaluations. The final evaluations are then submitted by the mentors to Google, following which the results are finally announced on August 31st. So, this is like a general overview of the timeline. Again, you can find the complete one at GSOC's official website. Now, let's get to the main topic at hand. That is the changes that have been made to the program starting from this year onwards. As you can see here in the slides, the coding period has been reduced to 10 weeks from 12. Now, previously, projects were designed to take around 350 hours of work in total, uh, which is obviously a lot of time. Now that has been reduced to 175 hours now, a full 50% reduction. But this also means that the stipend has also been reduced from 3000 USD to 1500 USD. Now we believe the implication of this time cut is that the size and the scope of the projects will be reduced. So you will have easier projects with a lower bar of entry in terms of you know the technologies uh, the frameworks and you know the skills that you actually need to work on these projects so the bar will be lower another big change is that the number of evaluations 
has been reduced to two from three and you no longer need to pass the first evaluation and this is the important point that you don't need to pass the first one so uh, evaluations are basically like checkpoints right where the mentor judges the work that you have done till that point and decide if you are capable to keep working on the project now, till last year failing any one of these evaluations would mean that you were out of the program but that has been changed right now you only need to pass the final evaluation in order to complete GSOC and you know if you think about it the only plausible reason for this is that Google is trying to make GSOC easier for beginners to complete right so if you're a beginner you obviously won't be as comfortable coding with whatever technology that you've picked right you may not have that much experience or technical expertise but this optional evaluation metric in the middle basically means that you have the opportunity to improve as you progress through the coding period itself right without having to worry about failing an evaluation in the middle of the program you can learn your topics you can learn the code that you're writing while you are coding itself you know, it's one of the best ways to learn and through these changes you know by making the first evaluation optional uh, google is trying to reinforce the fact that you can learn while you're coding itself so overall right these changes really improve your chances of getting accepted at least the chances are better than what they were last year right and even if you're just a fresher you still have a really good opportunity at hand right again the changes they you have more time on your hand to you know explore the technologies and learn while you're coding and considering all the perks that you're getting from being a G soccer uh, this is really a great opportunity that you should not pass out on at all now this was just a taste as to what you can expect from GSOC right and the actual process from you know application to the full completion is far more nuanced than what we've discussed here and, and it's just not approachable in you know a single 10 minute video in order to get you fully equipped with the tools that you need in order to become a G soccer a successful G soccer we conduct a program called G soc heat now this is a complete simulation of G soc but crammed in one week instead of two and a half months so stay tuned for that we will be releasing a video you know covering all that stuff soon enough and of course if you want to stay up to date uh, you can subscribe to the channel you can ring the bell notification bell so there's that of course if you like the video then a like is always appreciated uh, you can follow gnu linux users group on the socials as you can see on the slide uh, we appreciate it all uh, so this has been Glug signing off thank you for watching the video